Hey guys, today I am going to show you how to create this paper effect transition to your videos in Premiere Pro. Alright, you can see I have created a 4K resolution sequence and I have got three different video clips in the timeline. In the next step, we need some assets for the transition. I already have some assets on my computer. You can download all these assets using the link provided in the video description. Let's drag and drop the first two transition assets, noise overlay, and the first two sound effects onto the project panel. Now, let's drag and drop the noise overlay at the end position on top of the first video clip. After that, let's go over to the Effect Controls panel and find the Opacity panel. Now, click on the drop-down menu of the Blending Mode parameter, and then select the Screen Mode from the list. You can use any blending mode according to your footage. Alright, it's time to apply a transition asset. Firstly, I am going to create a fold paper transition. That's why we need to drag and drop the first fold paper transition file to the end position of the noise overlay. Then, let's zoom in on the timeline. Here, you can see, we have imported the the fold paper transition mat file. Next, let's turn off the video layer 3. Now we have to cut the noise overlay and the first video clip to this position by using the razor tool. After that, we have to remove this portion of the noise overlay. In the next step, we have to apply an effect to the first video clip. Let's move over to the effects panel to apply a posterized time effect. The posterized time effect works by reducing the number of frames used in a clip, resulting in a choppy, stop motion like appearance. After that, from the posterized time effect, we have to make the frame rate value around 12. And then, let's select the first video clip and the noise overlay. Next, right click on them. After that, from the context menu, let's click on the nest to group these selected multiple layers. Lastly, let's click on OK. In the next step, we have to move this nested sequence one track above. After that, we have to drag and move the second video clip to this position. Now we can turn on the video layer 3. Alright, in this case, I want the first clip to disappear with the second clip underneath. Now, let's go over to the effects panel to apply an effect. This is a track matte key effect. Let's drag and drop the track matte key effect onto the first video clip. Next, go over to the effect controls panel. And from the track matte key effect, we have to select video layer 3 as the matte layer because the fold paper transition is a matte file. All right, now we have got our transition, but we don't have the paper texture. We can add paper texture by duplicating and placing the transition matte file one track above. And then from the blending mode parameter, we need to select screen mode from the list. Also, you can duplicate the paper texture even higher to have even more texture. All right, now we are done. With these couple of steps, we have created this fold paper transition. In the same way, you can create ripped paper transition by using the assets we have provided. This technique allows you to seamlessly blend scenes, adding a dynamic and textured element to your project. Lastly, we need to incorporate the transition sound effects to enhance the visual transition. These audio elements will help create a more dynamic and attention-grabbing experience for the audience. In this way, you can add really simple and nice paper effect transitions in Premiere Pro.